What's up guys? It's January 1st, 2024. Really good day for the Bulls. I'm pretty surprised they uh, recovered. They're making new highs. We're breaking out of last week's high. Like right now, the market's not closed yet. That was pretty cool to see the Bulls do that after yesterday's FOMC. I was, I got a little shredded in this area, thinking we were selling. So yeah, yesterday we had a gap down with selling pressure. We ranged, kind of a pullback. We tested this uh, zone here. Sold off for a leg or two. Bulls try and go for the breakout above the higher time frame EMA. This is the 45 minute EMA. Ultimately fail, failed breakout here. Higher high failed breakout with bar twos high, keeping the bear gap open here. This is also, excuse me, this is also really close to last week's high. This purple line is last week's high right here. So we're at the high of the range, high of today's range, gap down selling pressure, and the market sells for two legs, a couple legs down. Like one, like two, pull back, like three. I have allergies today, so I'm not gonna try and uh, make sure you guys can't hear me. My nose. The morning was pretty nice. First six bars of the day, we have a bull bar, pull back, bull bar, excuse me one second. Okay, yeah, there we go. Pull back, sell off, and then sm small bearish pressure ab uh, above the EMA though. There's a gap up here. So there's a gap up with continuation. That's really good for the bulls. That should be show that should be telling us something. Yesterday we have a leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three, wedge bottom into support. This was um this purple line is last week's low, and this purple line is last week's high. This purple this blue line is the 50% level from last week. So we gap up. Bulls go for three pushes, creating a wedge top here. And then the market sells for a few legs. These are micro legs. You can go like this, like that. Get your one to one, and then a little bit left over. Oh man, my nose! I got really bad allergies today. So hopefully, I, I don't. I tried to mute the mic before I did that, so we can see like a leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three, pull back leg four into the EMA. There's a small wick here. This is more, um, I think people were just taking quick profits and the market sold. Everyone sold this. They saw a wedge top, tried to make a new low. Well, they did make a new low for the day. They're trying to go for the gap close and the bulls keep this gap open. So now there's all these bear gaps open here, but this bull gap stays open right down here. From here, the bulls get a good breakout, leg one, pull back leg two. This is a bull flag and they break out into the higher time from EMA. Um, I took this trade here. I thought it was a pretty good leg one, leg two move. I went from here to here and it worked out nicely. I got filled right at the close of that. So let's get the strong breakout. Pull back, push up, and then they ultimately fail right here. I got trapped. I thought this was a head and shoulders reversal on a lower high right here, lower high. Higher time frame is acting as resistance, so I got short. It was a trap, I got out. I saw this, two legs down for the bears, making it a trap, I bought this, and then this ultimately became one big bull flag. And if we talk about the market cycle, we gap up, channel, sell off. A channel is a form of a range, we sell off, and then we start to trend again higher, and then we go into a range. So the market cycle is breakout, so this is the breakout. First pullback starts the channel. Channel, we have another little pullback and then we ultimately range. And then what happens when I range? We wait for a breakout because the market cycle resets with the breakout. Here's here's two bar continuation at highs. So this could be a breakout. Get a small two legs here. It was met if you held to after the close. Or you can go from the breakout, these two bars, a little bit easier. This is asymmetrical two legs, so that's not good. In a good two-legged move, we want to have matching. This is bigger, and then the legs are shrinking, and then the third leg ultimately creates a double top, and they sell off into flat into the EMA, creating another bull flag. Here's a double bottom bull flag, right there, and it breaks out, making a new high of the day. Bar A2 is a new high. Pretty crazy day, in terms of yesterday's sell and then 
I know a lot of people must have been getting trapped here. I got trapped here. Initial reversal. So I'm going to go over all the leg two moves. I didn't take all these, but I just noticed them. I'm going to try and do a... I'm going to do... When I do these breakdowns, I want to do six bars. Talk about the market cycle. Talk about the legs. And then we'll talk about the higher time frame. So here's the bull leg. Leg one. Pull back. Leg two. Pull back. Leg three. After three legs. So this, this is like a good fade. The first two legs, you want to trade in momentum. So... I mean not momentum, you want to trade in the direction of the momentum. So it'll be like leg one in the direction, leg two. Now look how deep this pullback is. That's not very good for uh, the bulls. And then leg three is a good fade. Testing this area here, kind of right there. It's kind of some sort of resistance because we broke through, so support becomes resistance. And they go for a few legs down. When the legs are asymmetrical, we could think it's more of a range brown price action. My nose is so stuffed. So here's that uh, leg one, leg two with that small pullback. And then if you wanted to try and get this bar, maybe you could try it. So that right here is a neckline. So you can measure it from here too. That actually, that's, that's pretty bad. Yeah, no, that's how I would do it. This is a little bit trickled. Bears are going for, um, well, I mean, one second. This is also three pushes down. One, pull back two, and then you see the wick, pull back three. So it's a small leg, really big leg, and a shrinking leg. So that's not good. Above support now. This is last week's low, yesterday's low. Bulls get two legs and a breakout. Breakout into the channel phase. And then let's measure these two legs up here. Here to here, put it at the pullback. See so I measured from this body to that wick, put it here. Or you can go opposite bars too. Bar 28 is an opposite bar. So you could pull this, to Actually, I'll delete it and restart. So, I'm ignoring this doji because it's still within the it's still within a micro channel. When the the prior low doesn't break the prior this prior low didn't break 24's low didn't break 23, so I'm just counting it as a bull bar. That's why I keep pulling from the low, but you can also pull from here, you go like that or something. See that lined up. 22 to the high of 27, pull back to 28. And that gets you a measured move within four bars. You make a decent amount of points. Let's say you buy a high of that. It's almost a 10 point move. And then you, we see what happens at the higher time frame EMA. The bulls, the bears also get two legs. This is called a complex leg right here. And it fails. So, well, there's multiple ways they can get the leg. This is also two legs right here. But ultimately it's a pullback and that's all it is it should be treated like a pullback like one pullback like two and it fails here's pullback or i mean excuse me that a push downwards a pullback another push pullback and down so that's a wedge bottom on a smaller time frame higher lows bulls have control of the market right now there's more time being spent above the ema than below the ema there's two types of control. There's time and control, and time over price or control over price. So bulls have control over time right now. Did I say that backwards? Last I might have said that backwards. Anyway, so here's another leg two move. Right here, I, this is the one I took. I bought this and got it there. It was about ten points. Here we can see uh, this is a bull channel. It's hard to count legs within a channel because you're always gonna try and fade it. We have to recognize that this is kind of a, this is a type of trend. It's not the strongest trend, but it is a sort. It's a type of a trend, so it's hard to count legs and trends. You could be fading this, 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 and get trapped. Look at the closes below the EMA. They're not really closing. When it goes below the EMA, there's there's wicks, so that can show us buying pressure. This one reversed right away. If you, I made this mistake, but I think it'd be better if we had this breakout and then a good bar below the EMA, something like this, maybe that would have been a better short. I got trapped here. But yeah, it was a bull trend. And then the bulls get their two legs up like one, pull back like two. I did not trade that because it was the end of the day. I traded this by the close rally, but. And look, the measured move was met. So we go over the higher time frames. Looking really cool for the bulls. They have a gap up. Follow through, pull back, pull back into the EMA. First, pull, first higher low into the EMA. Just like we talked about, look at the buying pressure under the EMA. No real follow through, no good closes. 
this is the daily chart and then they get there they start making legs higher like one like two here's a leg three wedge top it sold off into last week's low failed breakout and now we're breaking above last week's high so this is a measured move of the breakout from last week's range and this is a measured move for the bears of breakout of the break if they break out of last week's range it's 45 minute chart we can see a strong bar but again a lot of buying pressure this is pretty good follow through but it's right above right on top of last week's range so that's not good but let's get make a higher low and they push all the way to new highs at the end of the day where where are they trading at right now oh wow it's still going higher pretty good day for the bulls i was not expecting it but at the end of the day is if, if we trade price action we still we would end up on the right side of the trade eventually um for disclosure i did load my pa account finally i got shredded on fomc and this was the trade that took me out i started a new account and i'm only going to trade micros and i'm going to see where it goes i'm going to scale in i actually uh, scaled in pretty nicely here and got out here so I'm scaling in is going to help me. If I take a loss, it's going to be with one contract, and then my winners are going to have longer runs. And I'm just going to take it for what it is. I mean, I've never passed a Apex account with the micros anyway, so I'm going to see if I can scale in, use wide stops when it's appropriate, and see how it goes. The last two times I've, I've traded the micros was that one day you guys saw me scaling into the bull trend and then scaling into this bull trend here. So... I'm walking away green when I trade the micros, less stress, less risk, and I'm catching way more points. So I'm going to just have to practice, take it for what it is. It's the first of the month, starting a fresh account. I'm going to try and trade the micros and pass within 30 days. Have a good one. Welcome to all the new subscribers. It was nice meeting y'all. Leave some comments if you have any questions. I will try my best to answer them. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.